what would you encourage pastors um, to do in this area of workplace when a lot of their congregation may be, you know, dissatisfied or kind of disconnected from the church? Could you just say a last word to the pastors out there? Well, uh, the people who go out in the workplace are the church. Mm -hmm. So the people in the workplace are the church. Mm -hmm. And the pastor needs to read his congregation and know his congregation mm -hmm. from one end to the other mm -hmm. and see where they are spiritually, see where they are physically, and then ask God, how do I and how do I organize the mm -hmm. church to equip them to function where God has put them right. in the marketplace? Mm -hmm. uh, most of their time is not spent in the church house. Mm -hmm. It's spent in the world. That's right. And so Jesus said, Father, don't, I don't pray that you take them out of the world. Mm -hmm. I pray that you keep them in the world mm -hmm. and keep them from the evil one. Mm -hmm. Well, as a pastor, I had to help them to know how in the world God does that. Yes. And then he said, sanctify them, set them apart yeah. for yourself. Mm -hmm. And as you sent me into the world, I also sent them into the world. Mm. So I looked at that as a pastor and said, then I need to do what Jesus was praying. Mm -hmm. I need to take the Word of God mm -hmm. and see them being set apart by the Word of God mm -hmm. to be exclusively used mm -hmm. of God. But he didn't take them out of the world. He put them in the world mm -hmm. like Jesus did to mm -hmm. transform the world. Yeah.